The Fearless Launching Show was created to answer the question, how can I launch my big idea to the world in the most simple, straightforward way possible and reach more of the right people? I'm your host, Ann Samoylov, and I've been helping six and seven figure business owners launch for over a decade. And while I love geeking out about improving launches, new launch strategies, what's working, what's not working, I'm also obsessed with exploring the heart, the mind, the challenges of running your own business. And that's what we're gonna do each and every week. I wanna show you how to launch that course or coaching program or other creative work and navigate the journey of being an online entrepreneur. So if you're ready for some new perspectives, some new stories around launching, I can't wait to share those with you. Let's get into today's episode. Well, happy Monday. Can you believe this is actually getting to you on Monday if you're listening to it and it's Monday? Well, I publish it Monday, so that's all that matters. You can listen to these refocus sessions any day of the week you would like to. So welcome to another refocus session. Today, in addition to setting our focus for the week, we're going to talk about money. Oh, wait. Don't worry, no lectures are incoming. I just wanted to share something that I do every single week. And before you get into your week and decide what you want to create, do, accomplish, I wanted to share this one thing that I've been doing for ages on Mondays. And I think you'll maybe do it too, or maybe you do something like this already. Now, several years ago, I tried to theme every single day of the week. I wanted to make sure that I had some consistency and I wanted to have a game almost for myself. And I literally tried, but that lasted all of one week, maybe two weeks. And the only theme that that stuck was Monday, my money Mondays. It's the day I look at my expenses, my bills and update anything in my personal budget as well as my business budget. It's where I normally look at upcoming expenses, seeing if there's anything I can shift, what do I want to generate in the next months or days, depending on the questions I ask myself on the Money Mondays. And really, it's just where I can get clear on where I stand money-wise. And that's what I want to encourage you to do. So for me, that looks like my revenue runway. So I literally have a Google sheet that is called that, my revenue runway. And it's something I started doing once I was a single mom to make sure I had many months of revenue to support the business, of course, but to support me and my daughter and my cat. And I don't have the freedom to live month to month anymore. I don't have, I don't have the second income in our home. I need many months of padding. And so doing these Money Mondays really just helps me plan, be better with money, relax a bit more, and just feel more confident about what I am doing. But it's also had a side effect that it's also helped me plan for what I want to do in the coming months. And even though, like I said, now I have no other support to fall back on, I certainly have Mila's father's support, child support wise, but I still am the primary person who has to worry about keeping a roof over our head, about making sure that the business gets what it wants and me too. So here's what I recommend if you want to do this Money Monday with me. Here are five things that I do. I look at all the expenses coming up usually, and I have a spreadsheet that I've created. So it's changed and it's grown over time, but I do have a list of my current like kind of bills and their cycle, the day of the month they fall on, all of that kind of stuff. If they're yearly, if they're monthly, if they're just quarterly expenses. So make sure you have some tracking of expenses, regular and not so regular. Next, I always have a current balances, current money, what's currently accounted for completely. Next, three, I have an expected money column as well, an expected money part of my tracking sheet as well, so that I can know what is coming. And this is not what if, this is not goal money, this is 
what I know is coming, but it may be coming on specific dates. Number four, I add in goal money. And that is really my good, better, best goals for revenue. And sometimes my goal money will, I'll establish it at the beginning of a quarter, but I'll often look into it on a weekly basis and be like, how am I doing based on what I thought I was going to do? And I will also update, add to, revise, cross things off as I do them. I make a list of actions that I'm going to take to get as close as possible to my goal money. And I do use the good, better, best way of setting those goals. So I have like my good goal, my better goal, my, oh my gosh, this is the best outcome I could possibly imagine goal. And that's it. Those five things, expenses, current money, expected money, goal money, and actions I'm going to take to get as close as I can to that goal money. I recommend making a Google sheet like I did. Google spreadsheets are great because you can obviously total things up. That's what spreadsheets do. And something that you can check in on month by month and really give yourself something to look at. Don't just check your balances on your banking or whatever. Don't just look for, oh, when's this coming? When's that coming? Try to have a place outside of those areas, like outside of your bank account, where you do keep track of things. And I'm not even saying a quick QuickBooks. I'm saying super low five here. Low fi not low five. And what I like to do is I have my weekly check-in. I have a monthly check-in. I always look forward about into the quarter just to make sure I'm not missing any upcoming expenses. But in terms of like really evaluating things, I'm always looking before beyond that. And I really do two quarters in front of me in order to see what's coming. And that's it. So I would love to know if you do a little Money Monday check-in or any other day of the week. Let me know because you can totally do it on a different day, but come on, Money Monday just fits, right? Okay, now that said, let's get back to what, we're, what we are focused on this week. Is there something you really want to refocus on that maybe lost some steam in the past weeks or months? I want to often remind you of things that you started. It doesn't mean you have to get back to them. You might be like, yeah, I decided not to do that. But if there's something you really do want to refocus on, maybe you just got lost, now's the time to think about that. And here's another question by the same token. Is there a new project you want to dive into? Spend the next 30 minutes brainstorming what you'd like to do this week and why. Is it something new? Is it something that you need to refocus on? What is it? Why do you want to work on it? And when? What are you going to be getting done during the week? They can be like little tasks that you need to get done towards that bigger kind of focus. Or it could be the whole project, depending on what it is that you're doing. And that's it. All right, my friends, have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you soon.